Did we just get her vote? I think we just got a vote. Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> we just got another suitcase full of money. Really, Kevin? You're going to take butt money from a girl at the gym? Girl, where are you keeping a suitcase full of money? What's up guys and welcome back to the life of Kevin and to begin this week's episode Kevin is faced with a tough decision He's currently at work striving to become leader of the free world and he's faced with devious Legislating it says that Kevin wants to have their name attached to a dramatic and inspiring piece of legislation Two groups are working on legislation, but Kevin only has time to work with one of them He can either back the free pie legislation or the free robot birds legislation now, I know what you guys are thinking. You probably automatically jumped to Kevin backing free pie. In the past, he's been one to give people free food. He has had a bit of a sweet tooth, but he does also run a restaurant. And would he really want to damage his potential earning income by giving people free pie all the time? He's also been running on a platform of sending people to the sun. Would free pie really do well on the sun? Free robot birds, on the other hand. That is something that the people want, the people need. It would do great on the sun. We're backing free robot birds. It's promotion in the bank. What is life without a robot bird to call one's own? Asks Kevin to cheers. And free they continue. Kevin is carried in triumph on the shoulders of his peers through the legislator hall as the motion passes. Kevin gains two supporters. I called it. I said it was in the bag. You give people free robot birds and they'll make you an elder statesperson. Who are you calling an elder? Kevin's never gonna be an elder. A again, technically. <laughs> Made an additional $53 per hour. Got a nice fat bonus, some new clothes. Okay, so now we are getting congratulated by Black Widow. Do we want to celebrate tonight? Uh, maybe? Yeah, we'll, we'll hit a, oh, okay, we're, we're gonna celebrate now. It's not, it's not tonight, it's four o'clock. Kevin has some very unlikely friends. I'm not sure why Black Widow of all people are inviting us out, but like I was going to say, we need one more promotion. We're one promotion away from becoming leader of the free world. We need to get 20 votes. So if we're gonna be here celebrating, we might as well grease the wheels. We could uh, probably cool. use a little help from the ghost demographic. Whoa, Kevin, we can ask for bribes? Ask the ghost for a large bribe. That sounds like a great idea, right? We can make money this way. I mean, it is your job, so you're making money that way, but if you want to give me a large bribe, I, I wouldn't turn it down. He just gave me $2,000! Whoa! He just... <laughs> the ghost just gave me a suitcase full of money. Oh God, the bear saw too much. Stay cool and don't make a scene. The bribe went as expected into your pocket. Enjoy the sweet profits of graft. <laughs> Kevin, Lincoln is frowning on you right now. Lincoln just sat us down. I think he wants to have a talk with us. He, he's talking to the ghost as well. Maybe we can secure his vote. Let's introduce ourselves. If we can, yeah, you see, we're going to the sun. Technically, you died. You should be a ghost. Yeah, why aren't you a ghost? I'm really confused right now. You kind of got, you know, st stuff kind of happened. Cupcakes. Cupcakes, huh? Cupcakes and cell phones. Okay, um, I don't fully follow. Come on, Lincoln. I already got electrocuted, ghost. It's gonna be a great time. No? <laughs> Old Honest Abe doesn't want any part of politicians who are taking briefcases full of money from ghosts in a bar. Okay, fine. See if I care. Maybe Celeste would be interested? Celeste, have you ever been to the sun? She seems very responsive. Being an extraterrestrial bounty hunter is probably a big selling point. Let's see if we can secure her vote, okay? We don't like vampires. We're gonna send them into space, but not the sun, because that's where we're going. Right? Maybe? Just give her the same pitch again. Oh, oh, no, she's telling us to shove off. Kevin, things are not going too well. Oh, she, she's into vampires. Whoops. So you're a bear. We already have a tremendous support from the bear demographic. They've already... I'm happy that I can include you. Yes, and we don't like vampires. I promise you, all the vampires... I mean, they can come to the sun, too. I've, I've been told that they don't particularly like it. Weird bar. I'm not gonna lie, the bears, the Grim Reaper, the Chuck Norris, the Smurfs, the Kevin stealing bears drinks. Kevin, I saw that. You just swiped that. You did not pay for that drink, sir. 
Why does he steal drinks from people? I had him do that once, and ever since then, he's like, oh, yeah. Every drink is mine. I'm a politician. I'm gonna be leader of the free world. Yeah, I'll see you suckers later. We really should go somewhere else. In all reality, we're not gonna get, uh, we keep making fun of people. We're not gonna get a, a whole lot of support here. Where could we go to get, um, we need nine more votes. God, this is gonna take forever. Well, I came to the gym, and I'm now realizing that might have been a bit of a mistake at 4 a.m. I had a good idea, though. Like, it was gonna be a place where Kevin could have a common thread of discussion. You know, we would be able to break the ice much easier than with politics, because it was a couple of years ago, Kevin went from sumo to Spartan here. Back when he was wooing Emma for the first time, I believe. So maybe we can just start working out. You don't need to have the suit on to be able to get your job done. If anything, that's probably deterring people. We're gonna blend in. Um, blend in. How do you lift weights for four hours with a towel wrapped around your head? And he needs to go to work. Okay, no, we're gonna work from home, technically. We need to promote our policies and we give the uh, inspirational speech. Yeah, we're probably not gonna do any of that stuff, to be perfectly honest. I just wanna secure my votes. That's the biggest thing. Is there anybody here yet? There's one dude that's been on the treadmill since 4 a.m. and uh, I think he might be crazy. I'm not sure that we should talk to this dude. Here we go, Kevin. This is perfect. Leia Blue, she's... Doing a good job. I think she's a bit of a beginner though. Maybe we can train her? I know Emma can do that. Uh, commando training, push the limits with Leia. Okay, let's give her commando training with the towel on our head. I don't know if we're gonna make her think she's, wait, where are you going? What, what are you doing over there? Are we training at the same time? Hey, 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 no, you can't have her vote. Oh, wait a minute. This dude with the giant legs is motivating her and egging her on. No, we want to be that person. You you get the hell out of here, mustache face. Maybe I'm mistaken. I thought Kevin could train people. I know Emma definitely can. Oh, uh, what are we doing? We're, we're talking about something. Yeah, you know, a little of this, a little of that. Did we just get her vote? I think we just got a vote. Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> we just got another suitcase full of money. Really, Kevin? You're gonna take butt money from a girl at the gym? Girl, where are you keeping a suitcase full of money? I know you're big into global warming, Leonardo, okay? We can get rid of it. We can we can erase the sun. There's no more global warming if there is no sun. Let's hug it out. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio is on board. He agrees with the issues. Things are going great. Damn, Candy, look at you go. I wouldn't screw with you. I would take your vote, though. No, no, not even a little bit. All right, well, that didn't go great. What? This guy is an absolute machine over here. I can't get over the size of his legs. <laughs> Kevin, you used to look like that. You used to be a perfect specimen. Why don't we beat this guy up? Kevin is currently mocking his outfit as he wears gloves, no shoes, <laughs> and a towel to the gym. Whoa, yeah, I'm mocking your outfit. What are you gonna do about it, Smelly? You wanna take this outside? Cause I'll bring you down to Chinatown right before we go to the sun. Oh crap, did this guy actually wanna go outside? He's stomping away, he's gone. <laughs> All right, well, I, I, I kinda wanted to fight him. I don't know why, I'm just, I'm very mad right now. Why are you in a towel, Bella Goth? I mean, I'm in a towel too. Maybe I shouldn't judge all that much. Maybe that can be our, our common thread, right? Yeah, we can whisper about towels. Can you believe it? We're both wearing towels. We can both take our towels off at the same time if you really wanted to. It, it'd be it'd be really cool, no? All right, fine, be that way. I guess technically you're more into my son. Did that bear just change into its bear workout? Oh, it put on boxing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Very important not to beat up your paws. Whoa, whoa! Did you just see that? She tried to flirt with Kevin and Kevin was like, no, no, you can't kiss my hands. Kevin, why are you embarrassed? She's the one that was trying to hit on you. I mean, we did tell her to technically get naked in the gym, but that's that's nothing. Uh, we're, we're just gonna talk to this bear. We're gonna talk to Naomi about the sun. That'll make us feel better. Kevin, as much as I love talking to the bears because they seem like great people, we've been here for like 12 hours and we've gotten two votes. Maybe we should try somewhere else. Are you okay, Kevin? You're looking a little warm and steamy. Maybe you shouldn't spend 12 hours at the gym in a turtleneck gloves and a giant thing around your head, okay? That's just a bad idea. Also, I'm pretty sure I just saw freaking Hakeem. Is he here somewhere? He is here. Okay, so last episode, I told you guys, 
I, I showed you that I did everything you need to do to actually keep your butler, and he still shows up. I don't understand why. I just want Amber. Every now and then I need to pause the game to get a drink or something like that, and I stumble across gems like this, and I really want to start showing them to you guys. No context needed, just Kevin at his finest. While standing here eating trash fruit, Kevin just had a great idea. I, I feel weird saying that. We should have a fundraiser. We should have a black and white bash, have people over to the house. All of those bribes were not bribes. They were technically campaign donations. They're gonna pay for the party, and then people will come over and we can uh, promote our policies and uh, try to convince them to be on our side. And Kevin, maybe you can take all of this off because you're gonna get sicker than you already are. It can't be healthy walking around like that, dude. It's warm out. So I think everything should be in order. We have Kevin as the host. We have the whole family as guests, as well as other people that we can hopefully convince to garner Kevin some support. We have a caterer, we have a mixologist, we have Akeem who should be able to help out, but probably won't, which is largely why the bar next to us uh, stinks. And then, uh, Kevin, why are you Mad Max right now? What? Why do we want to carve pumpkins? No. No, why are you a male woman? Did I pick, I picked the wrong freaking party, didn't I? We'll go with it. People love Halloween parties in July. Like She-Hulk as the angry witch. Or maybe she's technically the wicked witch of the West? She was green, right? You better not beat up that bunny. That's disappointment, right? I'm pretty sure we named this, yeah, this bunny's name is disappointment. I remember that much. Okay, so that this is already, oh God. Well, you know what, I'll, I'll give it up. Emma makes a sexy post office worker. It's such a random costume. Evie, you can't dress up like Princess Leia. We invited her to the party. She is a family friend. That is gonna be very awkward if we find her. I think, whoa. Oh, yep, yeah, she's up here. No, that's Barbie. You guys both wore the same freaking costume. You both dressed like one of our friends. Kevin! Kevin, what's wrong? Did, did somebody deny your policies? Come on out, man. It's not that big a deal. You're gonna get a lot of no's. It's the yeses that matter. Wait a minute. No, Kevin is... Yeah, that's right. He's dressed up like that. So, who just went into that closet? What's... Hello? Who is this person? Daniel Craig, you're James Bond. You can't dress up like Llama Man. You're stealing my bit, dude. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see if we can cheer him up. Maybe we can, uh, yeah, give a funny introduction and stuff like that. And then we can get Llama Man to, to vote. I mean, he could be the real Llama Man. I, I don't know who Llama Man is. Do you know who Llama Man is? I don't think anybody knows. Big fan of Llama Man, huh? Yeah, I bet you if he was here, uh, it'd be really awkward that his daughter were the same thing as him. What's with all the duplicates? Do you think Llama Man would like to go to the sun? He seems very receptive to Kevin. Okay, okay, here we go. We're greasing the wheels with possibly the, the very real Llama Man. Let's see if we can secure his vote behind this giant llama. Wolverine? Really? This is what you, you dressed up like? Oh, and he told us to shove off. <laughs> this is gonna be difficult. Oh man, I love Halloween parties, except for when everybody comes in dressed like Patrick Flaherty, Bob Ross, and everybody's an astronaut. Who's Pranav Dada, and why does Kevin hate him? Oh, it's Mustache Guy from the gym! I didn't recognize him with pants. I should have with the walk. Oh, we are absolutely gonna pick a fight with this guy. But before we do that, we should really apologize to Princess Leia. Listen, they're just kids. They don't know any better. You're one of their role models. They're really happy that you came. Your costume is great. You look like a complete admiral, which I guess you technically kind of are. Um, yeah, Nicolas Cage, could you stop rubbing up against us? That's kind of awkward. And why did Daisy show up dressed like Kiyu? <laughs> Freaking Halloween costumes, man, they slay me. Are we ever gonna get any votes, Kevin? You you haven't gotten a single vote yet this party, and that's the entire purpose of them being in our house. She-Hulk, please, just throw me a bone here. I, I really need your support. We're going to the sun. Thank you. Who's, who's making fart noises? That's not appreciated. The sun is a very serious deal. Why is there a ghost llama on my deck? Devoured ghost. Oh, that's right. We have electrocuted ghost support already. So maybe we can talk to you, have a bit of a funny introduction, and why, Tommy? 
<laughs> Why? You shouldn't fall asleep in the hot tub, man. That's not good for you. Oh God, everybody's falling asleep all over the place. Okay, you know what? Just just get up and go to go to bed. Just get out of the hot tub. You're gonna stew. Why are Mr. Bean and She-Hulk in my backyard crying over corpses? These are the things that I need to ask myself. Wait a minute. Kevin? Kevin, we have had this party all night, and so far you have garnered one vote. So this is what I'm proposing. We could spend the next, like, ten episodes trying to become leader of the free world by securing votes, or... We could wish for it? What's the worst that could happen? We'll begin by making an offering. All of those bribes, all of that dirty money, it's going down the well. There's no more evidence. We have nothing left on our hands. The well is now happy. I believe it has accepted our offering, and now we will wish for a promotion in the political career. Uh, is, is white good? Oh, did it duplicate Emma? Why are they wearing the same thing? I take another Emma. That that wouldn't be too Yes! It worked! Oh, I mean, I was afraid that it would kill him, turn him into a child, a hamster, God only knows, but screw it, we got we're national leader. We we did it without any votes! Kevin, this is your workplace calling. We have urgent news to share. Your boss won the lottery and immediately walked out mid-shift. Leader of the free world won the lottery was like, screw this. We need to rapidly fill the vacated position, and we think you're the right man for the job. Congratulations on your promotion. I'm not gonna lie, probably would have preferred a double Emma, but as you see, that's not how that's gonna work, so you know what? I'll take leader of the free world. <laughs> Dressed up like Mad Max, that's, that's just fantastic. <laughs> Our Emma decided to change costumes so that we don't mix them up, and I think Kevin is very appreciative of that. But you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of The Life of Kevin, guys. We finally did it! It took three episodes, but Kevin is finally a leader of the free world. And I'm sure wishing for it on a demonic dick well will come with no repercussions. Thank you so much for watching this video! I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.